Well, it's a, it's, it's a very nice place to live. One reason is that the, the architecture of the city is not so uh, potent as it can be other places. Then you will have a lot of recreational space. So you will have uh, water, uh, you will have parks, you will have trees, you will have a lot of green. There's a very nice spot here on uh, Dronning Luises Bro, uh, which is uh, like, a, you could say, a, a, a meeting spot. So a lot of people will sit here, uh, especially during the summer, drink uh, beers, they will enjoy music, they will uh, have a party. It's a perfect spot to start your uh, tour around Copenhagen. And then I will go up to, uh, to the area where we're actually uh, standing right now. And in Guldbergsgade 29, you will have the opportunity to spend an entire day because you will have Mirabelle, the bakery, opening up early in the morning. And then you will have shops opening up at around 11 o'clock. I can go to small uh, artisan shops and buy uh, uh, sustainable design uh, products uh, like in Res Res, where we're just standing outside now. You will have a hairdresser, you will have a coffee table bookstore and you will have a design store. Later on you will have your lunch uh, probably at the microbrewery called Bruce. And it's actually there, right? It's actually just there, exactly, yeah. And, and, and then you could decide to go uh, have a late afternoon cinema at Empire Bio and uh, check out at Based in the evening to have a, a fantastic pizza. The next thing would, would probably be to, to sort of like try to uh, enjoy a lot of the recreational uh, areas of Copenhagen. So here's uh, Assistent Kierkegaard where a lot of the famous Danish uh, authors, musicians, composers, etc. they are, are buried. But it's not just a, a graveyard, it's also a place people love to hang out. So a big part of, uh, of living in a city is also to find these recreational uh, areas. From, from there on I would probably try to sort of like follow uh, uh, my way into uh, the Carlsberg uh, city district that is being developed on the old industrial area of uh, Carlsberg. It's really, really interesting uh, when you look at, uh, at architecture because here you will have old uh, cultural buildings being mixed with new modern uh, house. I would probably go, uh, go back here this way and then try to sort of like hit uh, the waterfront and uh, go through the waterfront because um, the transformation of the Copenhagen Harbour area is, uh, is a very interesting uh, area and what is also in, uh, very interesting is that uh, in Copenhagen you can actually bathe and swim in the harbour which is quite cool for an old industrial uh, area. I'll take a drink. <laughs> Christiania is the part of this Copenhagen that was occupied in the early 70s and, s and until now has been, you could say, inhabited uh, by, by, by the occupants and, and you will have a a more free uh, type of living there. We don't have leg legalization of, of drugs in, uh, in Copenhagen, but you will actually be able to, to buy uh, uh, different types of, of wheat uh, there. And you will be able to meet um, a variety of different uh, personalities uh, within Christiania, which is, which is interesting. And that's a big part of Copenhagen also is uh, uh, ability to, to uh, uh, with the close with vicinity of the city center, to actually have a lot of creative opportunities for, for, for people. It's sort of like the dynamic also of Copenhagen that uh, we embrace uh, these concepts without killing them with too high rent costs. There's a room for there's room for creative development around here. There's a, a place called the Bar Rouge. It's a small oyster bar. And you go in there and you'll have natural wines, you'll have uh, oysters, you'll have uh, sardines, uh, you'll have uh, anchovies. And you can uh, play in a cave uh, from the vinyl system. You can uh, act a little bit as if you are at home. It's a really, really down-to-earth oyster bar and I, I, I love that place. But there's vinyl, you can even just... Yes, yes, yes. And whenever I come there with my friend, it's in a cave. But to sum it up, Copenhagen for me is, uh, is, is pure livability. A recreational space, I can go swimming in the city, I can go uh, in a park in the city, experience culture, uh, historical sites, architecture, and I can do that on my feet. I don't have to sort of like plan for a lot. Copenhagen is also a relaxed 
place uh, to be where the pulse is is beating and it's beating warm and generously but it's not uh, beating so high that you end up dying of it so yeah it's a it's a good place to be this yes.